hello students so in the previous classes we have learned about lines and shapes and plane shapes we have been discussing about only plane shapes plane shapes are those that can be drawn on the flat surface such as paper it has two measurements length and breadth so it is also known as two-dimensional or 2d shape okay like here you see a square and a rectangle right so we can draw this on a piece of paper so these are called plane shapes okay or two-dimensional like square rectangle triangle and all those shapes okay and in the last class we have learned a little bit about uh, three-dimensional shapes but we have not uh, gone in detail so let us look here solid shapes have three measurements length breadth and height so a solid shape is also known as three-dimensional or 3d shape in short form we call it 3d shape okay 3d means three-dimensional so three-dimensional shapes can be picked up and held because they have a length breadth and height so I'm stressing on this point again why three-dimensional because they have a length breadth and height so the shapes which have length breadth and height are called three-dimensional or 3d shapes okay so if you look here this is an example of a 3d shape it has a face a corner and edge so this part this is called a face okay see this shaded part this is called a face this is also a face and this is also a face All right and if you look at the corners uh, here it's given this is a corner this is another corner this is another corner this is another so and so on it goes okay these are the corners all right and these are called edges this line this line this line all these lines are called the edges okay e d g e edge okay let's pronounce edge now let us look at the first 3d shape this shape is called a cube okay it has six faces 12 edges and eight corners okay we can't see the back side and down but if you uh, look at an animation uh, I think it will be clear I will show it to you now so this is a cube okay now you can see the faces the edges and the corners right so now you can see it moving around so now you know what a cube shape is okay this is a cube all right it has six faces 12 edges and eight corners all right now if you look at the second shape that is cuboid it has also six faces 12 edges and eight corners so it uh, similar is the it has the same properties as the cube All right six faces 12 edges eight corners cuboid also six faces 12 edges and eight corners the only difference here is in a cube all the faces all the sides all the corners are equal okay all the sides it is made up completely of squares so all the sides are equal and all the faces are equal but in a cuboid only the opposite sides are equal uh, just similar to rectangle so if you uh, look at the animation that I'll show you now I think it will be clear so this is a cuboid see you can see the faces the corners and the edges right here all the faces are not of equal length right some are big some are small it's not like a cube right see this is a cuboid okay this shape is called a cuboid it has all the same properties as a cube the only difference is all the sides are not equal okay now let us look at the next 3d shape that is a cylinder it has three faces two edges and no corners okay it has no corners so this is a cylinder ok 
Okay, you know the shape, the gas cylinder at home also. It's the shape of a pencil, right? Pencil also cylinder. See, you can see the curved faces, right? And two flat faces. So all together it has three faces. But it has no corners, right? See, you cannot see any corners. It's just two flat faces, one in the up and the down, and and the whole curved face around it. Alright. If you look at the next 3D shape, <coughs> you can see that this is a cone. Right. It has two faces, one curved edge and one corner. You can see that the top part is pointed, right? So this is the corner. Okay. In the cylinder, there were no pointed parts, right? So in the cylinder there were no corners, but in a cone there is one corner. Alright. Now you can have a look at this. This is the shape of a cone. Right, ice cream cone, party hat, all these are cones, right? See, it is one pointy corner, you can see, right? See? And one curved face. Okay, so now let us look at the last 3D shape that is a spear. S P H E R E. It's called a spear. Okay, so it is one curved face and zero edges and zero corners. Right, see, you cannot see any pointy thing, right? Zero edges, zero corners. So, example of a spear is like a marble, you play marbles, right? Or a football. All these are called spears. This is not a circle, okay? This is a spear. See, if you look at this, this is not a circle, right? This is a spear. It has a length, breadth, and height. But it has no corners and no edges. It is just one full curved face. Just one face, okay? So after watching uh, the video, you should be able to answer this exercise 8.3. Okay, fill in the blanks. A circle has dash sides and dash corners. So we know that it has a circle has zero sides and zero corners, right? And a spear has how many faces? Just one curved face. We have learned this just now, right? So <clears throat> please try to fill uh, all these blanks, okay? And submit it to me today. All right. So that will be it for today. I'll see you in the next class.